Texas Parks and Wildlife has a great fish stocking program. This time of year it puts trout in several area ponds and rivers, a lot of them across the state actually. My seven year old has been bugging me to take him fishing, so I thought, well, this would be a great opportunity to introduce him to trout. What if we catch like a salmon? A salmon? Yeah. Salmon. If we catch a salmon in here, that's going to be something else. Hmm. We might pull you in. You wouldn't think there are trout in the Guadalupe River either, unless you know about Texas Parks and Wildlife's trout stocking program. This provides people an opportunity to fish with trout and might not otherwise be able to do except out of state. Mukhtar Faruqi is an inland fisheries biologist with Texas Parks and Wildlife. He says the Guadalupe, right below Canyon Dam, is almost ideal for them. Taking advantage of the cold water release from the reservoir, because otherwise there are no other streams in Texas that support, you know, trout. This day, 2,000 trout were released. And Fishermen were here long before the truck. They really do enjoy it. They'll sometimes just call us up to confirm that the stocking is going to take place, and then they want to know what time. And just cast straight out there, Garrett, all right? I didn't care about hooking one, but there were a couple of guys with me I really hoped caught some. Here. Let's see if, let's see if we can get you a fish. They smell very bad, kind of. Yeah. You don't like the smell? No, smell them. They smell yummy. You, wanna eat you one? don't think so? You want to eat one, Dad? I'd rather eat a trout. My sons, Garrett and Micah, couldn't wait. Once the fish were in the water, some guys got lucky right off the bat. I should have on my tackle box. The boys and I, though, we're going to have to do some work. So when we catch the fish, should we fry them or bake them? Fry them. Why fry? Because they're good when fried. They're better fried? Yeah. All right. We got the hooks tied, put the bait on, and threw out our lines. Look at that. The fish were biting because other guys were catching them, but they didn't seem to care for what we were offering. Are the most fish at the calm part or the hard part, like over there? You know, if I knew that, I'd buy a lottery ticket. I don't know where the fish are. Garrett did get a couple of bites, but he didn't hook one. Flip the bait. Mike and I thought, well, maybe we just chose a bad spot. So we moved. You have to keep the end down like this. Now, raise it straight up over your head and throw it out there. Excellent, now reel. Just reel nice and easy. In the end, we didn't catch one. Didn't matter to me. I did hook something, a seven-year-old who's now another one of my fishing buddies for life. Do you want to try the lure, huh? Yeah, let's try the lure. All right. <laughs> if you fish, you have to take advantage of the state stocking program. You can find where and when they stock fish on TPWD's website. We'll also put a link to it in this story on kins5.com. And I have to tell on myself. Yes, what? tell on yourself. We can catch fish. Oh, yeah. no. Not one. Sometimes, that's why it's called fishing. You know, so, yeah. sometimes you just... Yeah. yeah, yeah. And Santa brought Micah a new pole, so oh. I'm, I'm going so to have to... gotta go again. Yeah. Yep. We'll have to go again. But you know what? It's cool just being out there. Oh, boy. And, uh, unless no, it was cold. Unless it's day. too cold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've got a rule. If it's below 50, I don't go fishing. Really? No, that's pretty yeah, because you're just standing still. You're not running around. But it's good fishing, right? Especially the cloudy sometimes. days like this and Sometimes. Cold. Sometimes. Sometimes it's not. Wasn't that day? <laughs> <laughs> and right. it was below 50. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's my rule. Is below 50, no fishing.